In this lesson, we're going to make a photo frame. It's a simple one, but it'll look very pretty on your wall. Before we get there, let's cover a few basics since we are really going to do modeling today. That's pretty exciting, isn't it? First of all, uh, there's a little widget here. This turns it on and off. I always leave mine on. It's the 3D manipulator widget. You can hold on your left mouse button and drag arrows back and forth. You can drag it up and down. Right now we are in front view in ortho mode. We're going to use the default cube to make our picture frame. The default cube is typically two meters by two meters by two meters, which is a pretty big picture frame, but we can always change the size in the uploader or later along in the process. Right now we're looking at our cube front view like we would look at it if it was on the wall. I'm going to hit the three on the numeric keypad. That changes the view so that we are now in side view. I'm going to switch to edit mode using the tab key. Holding down the S key, then hitting Y, I'm going to move the mouse and that makes my cube not very thick. Now that our picture frame is shallow, I'm going to turn it back to front view. That was with the one key on the numeric keypad. Changing to edit mode, using the tab key. I'm going to click on this center part while I am in face select mode. That's this little icon here. So I'm right clicking with my mouse, right click to select in Blender. I know it's weird, but you'll get used to it. Now I'm going to press the I key on the keyboard and use the mouse to indent our picture frame. With this still selected, going back to side view again, and I'm going to zoom in, and I'm zooming in by using the mouse wheel. Then holding down the shift key and holding down the mouse wheel, I'm moving it to the center of the screen. We can't really see what's going on too well from the side here, so the best thing to do is to change the view so that we can see all the inner workings of our model. Right down here, there's different ways of looking at our model. Right now, we are in solid view. We want to go to wireframe. There's a keystroke for this, of course, but we'll worry about that later. What you're seeing now is a side view of the front panel of the picture frame where we're going to put our picture. What we want to do now is make a little indentation so that there will be a pretty frame around our picture. To do this, I'm going to hit the E key for extrude, and then I'm going to pull on the green arrow and set it back just a little ways. Okay, now let's look at it from the front. Now let's change it back to solid. See, that looks pretty nice, doesn't it? Okay, we've done a good job. 